going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's one as you can see from behind me here we are at one of probably the coolest car events queensland will have seen in quite some time as you can see we have aaron's supra gorgeous mark 4 formerly known as scary supra the gtr obviously uh, of course they're parked together because they are boyfriend and girlfriend and two pearl white cars one with a purple pearl and one with a well many different pearls so we're currently in one of the show and shine sections which is sort of this little nook here at the back with some incredible cars we'll get some more sort of close-up and cinematic shots throughout the day um, but yeah there's sort of show and shine cars throughout we have vendors sort of all throughout that have cars on display as well. This will be getting filled with more cars. Uh, I think there may be small cars currently where I'm standing. And uh, just throughout the whole thing, uh, as you might be able to see over the back there, more show and shine, there's more at the back there. But yeah, a lot of the vendors will have cars on display because pretty much every vendor in here is automotive related, whether it's exhaust shops, uh, like merch, like uh, Cara's Inked 86 here with her business, Inked and Co. So yeah, a lot of a lot of automotive based stuff, which is honestly so good for like the car scene, I think. I think something like this was uh, a long time coming. Hopefully that noise isn't too loud, but yeah, we've got some cool companies here. We got Todd Hazelwood, um, which is cool because mum works for TFH does all the sponsorship side of that and uh, yeah she got Todd Hazelwood here in his car along with one of their Aussie cars uh, hopefully the noise isn't too loud again sorry about that but yeah we got everything we've got boats we've got proper drag cars we got show cars we got drift cars we got it all so uh, yeah this is all thanks to Growl Racing obviously by the time this is uh, uploaded you would have missed it so hopefully you uh, you were able to find out about the event that was shared pretty much everywhere but there yeah, we got i think they're aussie cars an aussie car uh, todd hazelwood's car is there we've got precision performance and mechanical which for the falcon boys you would know they were the ones that did uh, my falcon we got mca suspension which has got frank's car on display because his car was one of their sort of like sponsor vehicles what a car to display their suspension on that is static ladies and gentlemen but yeah wicked wicked event we're going to do some uh, some interviews throughout today and tomorrow the event actually doesn't start till tomorrow today's the bumping day because pretty much where i'm standing here and the whole center is going to be full of stores so once once that's all set up no cars will be able to get in or out so today's the bumping day and tomorrow is the actual the main event if you will but uh, yeah, there are some, some wild cars here. And yeah, just a huge shout out to Chris and his team from Grail Racing for throwing this. It is exactly what we needed here in Queensland. So nice work, guys. All right, so our first interview for the day, we have the team from TFH Racing. So we'll get a bit of a why they're here, who are they, and uh, yeah, let them tell the story. So who have we got here? Hey everyone, my name's Todd Hazelwood, supercar driver for Erebus Motorsport and TFH Racing. And I am Kaz, and I am from TFH, and I am supporting TFH Racing as well as TFH. Uh, I'm Louise, I work for TFH and Grail Racing. So what has brought us here today? Um, for me personally, I got an invite from Grail Racing to uh, actually bring along my big land yacht, which is my uh, pride and joy, my XC wagon. It's probably actually the slowest car here and amongst all the other cars, which is um, a bit of fun for me and uh, just cool to really interact with all the car enthusiasts. And obviously there's so many different avenues of motorsport, automotive, all collecting here today. So um, yeah, looking forward to having a bit of fun and um, obviously mingling with everyone at uh, TFH as well, which is really cool. And my role, I deal with a lot of sponsorships across the nation, so um, it's just really good to have one that involves motorsports. I'm quite passionate about it myself, and obviously so is the TFH Hire family. Um, working with Grail Racing is really great, and it's super amazing to have a huge venue with all these beautiful cars, somewhere for the car community to gather and show off their pride and joy that they work so hard on. And what have we got behind you here? What have we got? Oh my goodness. Well, this is fresh from the track at Bathurst, so excuse all the scuff marks on the tyres. This is an Aussie race car driven by um, our company executive, Josh Thomas, 
Do you want to talk a little bit about this car, Todd? Yeah, a little Aussie racing car. So the absolute buzzing bees of race cars. They're probably the smallest race car that you can get closest to a go-kart anyway. So um, yeah, the sequential gearbox, um, motorbike engine, and basically a fiberglass body on top of a tubular chassis. So these cars normally get three or four wide around the racetrack. Always action-packed racing, which is really cool. And um, it's certainly the smallest race car here, that's for sure. I reckon you could park two of these things next to each other in one single car. So thank you TFH for, uh, for sponsoring the event and bringing both yourselves and the cool cars. Our pleasure, thank you. So we have the man of the day, Mr. Chris from Growl Racing. As I've said, this is probably one of the coolest events Queensland has had since any event I've been to. I've never been to like an indoor event like this. So uh, what was the inspiration and uh, how do you think it's going so far? Good question. Yeah, I think um, it was weird. Like we were talking with RNA for a while about you know doing a show here and um, yeah, we sort of clicked the end of last year. We thought, why don't we actually get all the retailers in get them to present what they do like yeah put cars on display that they work on and yeah just support the industry as much as we can so yeah it was um yeah i think the bump in process was as good as we're going to get it was it's pretty hectic today um but i think it'll be all worth it when we see the smile on people's faces tomorrow that's for sure yeah i definitely agree it's uh it's been chaotic. Again, huge shout out to this guy. He's been running around like a chicken with a head cut off all day. <laughs> Has not stopped, but uh, just a quick pan behind us here, Gemma. Uh, all in a day's work. Uh, how many vendors do we have? Like, Do you know? I think there's, um, yeah, there's about 47. 47 vendors, all indoors, plus all the show and shine cars. Like, incredible. How you've picked, like who comes in as well. Like, it's not just, one genre. I know a lot of the indoor ones, like down in Melbourne, is it's all JDM. Whereas this has got, we got a, a speedboat, we got yeah. drag cars, <laughs> we got bikes, we've got drift cars. Like yeah, yeah. you got everything. So exactly. massive. Well done to you, and yeah. thank you for inviting me along. Thank uh, you so much, brother. So happy to have the GDR as part of the display. Um, yeah, it definitely adds that element that we needed. That was for sure. <laughs> exactly right. So far, the only 35 on that end. Exactly. There is one behind us here, but. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, thankfully, me and Mr. Scary Supra, Aaron, have been having a whole lot of banter. Uh, so which car would you prefer? <laughs> Put me on the spot. <laughs> no, no, I won't make answer that, I won't make answer that. But yeah, huge shout out to Chris. And uh, if you haven't already, check out Growl Racing, all his socials, I'll put the link in the description. None of this would have been possible without him. There's no one else doing it. So hopefully this is the first one of many. And uh, yeah, we'll cut to the clips of tomorrow, the main day. I'll be here all day filming from morning to afternoon so we'll try and get a wrap up interview tomorrow and, and see how it all went sounds great but uh yeah stay tuned for tomorrow all right so the gates have just opened this morning it is bang on 9 30 and yeah, not a bad turnout so far. I think towards the middle of the day is probably where we're going to hit our, our peak guests. We've got Charles emceeing the event, so uh, expect a menace, a menace to be uh, yeah, shouting out all day. But it's finally, uh, finally open. So let's see what today has in store. And of course, we have Chris's car front and center. So as soon as you walk in, you have the Growl booth and his wonderful, wonderful car.
as you guys know, we are here at Performance Pulse Expo. We're at one of the vendors, so we'll hand the mic to the man himself and say who he is, why he's here, and what he thinks. So, who are you? Guys, uh, Martini Motorcycling. Here we do wraps, ceramic coating, blackouts, a bit of detailing. And yeah, pretty much. So, he is quite new, as you may have heard from the unveiling of this beautiful car here. Uh, at the moment, you've done a whole lot of Falcons, but obviously you're looking to branch out into a yeah. whole lot of different cars. So, if you are needing any wraps or anything that he said before, blackouts, anything like that, he's the man to come and see. I'm sure there's some sort of special that you're offering here. So, yeah. if you are here, you are definitely going to get a hookup. But uh, what do you think of the event so far and, and the cars here? What, what are we working with? Yeah, loving it. It's something different. You don't really see many expos around. So, it's good that Chris organised all this, get, get everyone more involved. And see all the small businesses. So, yeah. Yep, so to our right here we have Jono's freshly wrapped car. Can you explain uh, what we got, what colour is it and yeah. or is that all top secret? No, it's 3M Galaxy Black so it's got a bit of uh, colourful glitter like metallic in it and then it's got a two-stage ceramic coating just to top it off and make it a bit more shiny. So. This thing under lights, I'm sure the, uh, the, the low light doesn't really do it just Justice, yeah. but see this thing under lights you can see the owner at f6 jet mr f6 jet on instagram and follow this guy's socials i'll put them on the screen and uh yeah support him show him some love and uh thanks for coming and yeah thanks to chris for having him here So here we have Jamie and Max, long time fans of uh, myself, if I do say so myself. Uh, what has brought you to this event? Why do you think this one stands out to the other events that you know are in Queensland? Uh, I just see every other business out here and what they've got on you know, display and what they provide for everyone in the car community and, yeah, and see other you know, nice cars out here and yeah. So? I think it's more so just maybe just the variety of cars like I've always been to events that's more solely just Jap or just Giro or just Aussie but something like this it's got everything you know stance cars, drag cars, show cars, it's got the lot. Yeah Chris has done a wonderful job uh, pretty much any genre of car you can think of including a boat uh, so do you have anything to say to Chris for throwing this event? Look, for a first time thing, I think he's absolutely smashed it. Like, there's definitely some things we can improve on, but again, for first time, he's absolutely nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Max, uh, I agree with Jamie, but um, yeah, he's put on a good event for everyone, and um, he's put a lot of time into it, and a lot of businesses, and yeah, it's, it's great. But I think, I wish it was a bit bigger. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, hopefully next time I'm here with my car, and yeah. So you heard it, next time, bigger and better, and his car should be running. So, on to the next interview. All right, so we are here with none other than Frank, the owner of this gorgeous XR6 Turbo behind me. Uh, what are you doing here? What company are you with? And what do you think of this event? First of all, the event is amazing. Chris, Grail Racing, they've done an amazing job just to make it all, yeah, to make it all happen. Obviously, great quality of cars here. Um, I'm with MCA, so we are trialing, sort of helping develop their pro stance suspension. Um, nothing but good things to say. Obviously, an Australian product to start off with, which is what we like. Yeah, we, <laughs> we like that. We love it. Um, and honestly, I mean, the height of the car, driving it on the street. Static. That is static. That's the right height. Yep, it is static. So you get out of the car, you don't need a new spine. It's it's good stuff, you know. <laughs> it's um, it's the quality of the ride at that height is better than it should be. Yeah. So yeah, excellent to be here with these guys. Yeah, loved it. So very uh, grateful for the exhibitors, vendors that we have. So MCA suspension is a. Uh, I think slats here in the S13, so that is the same. I think it's like a stance prototype. 
Um, so yeah, cars like this can ride at this ride height thanks to our awesome Australian quality engineering, we'll call it, Absolutely. and uh, Absolutely. and parts. So what do you have to say for uh, Chris when he watches this video? What do you have to say to him for this event? Just thank you. Just for everyone here, I think can speak on behalf of everyone. We're all grateful to have an event like this. I've never been able to partake in an indoor car show. Yeah. Always grew up going to car shows like this, like at, at this grounds actually. Yeah, but right. Never That's thought. Cool. Yeah, RNA Horror Road Show. Never thought that I'd have my car here. So, yeah. so possible. Because of Chris. Yeah, huge, huge shout out. I know I've said it so many times in the video, but you've outdone yourself. Everyone here is uh, super appreciative. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the, hopefully the number one of what is going to grow and grow and grow and hopefully we can uh, make this a, a common thing not just yeah. like a, a one-off every now and then but hopefully if we can make it big enough then a show will be coming near you and you can get your car in here so Frank thank you very much thank you very it was much, a pleasure Nicky. a pleasure meeting you we've never met oh, before we've never met so uh, time. yeah it's an honor <laughs> on to the next interview and I'm in love all right here we have mr. Todd Hazelwood again g'day, g'day. Uh, what do we have here where can people find it and uh, and what is this? Um, it's a bit of a scattered mess now, but I'm um, just packing up at the moment. But yeah, this is my personal merchandise range. So if you want to hit the head to shop.toddhazewood.com, that's where I got all my merchandise available online. Um, so I got some new uh, my new wagon tees. Limited right, edition. Are, yeah, limited edition. So there's only a hundred of those. So make sure you grab one of them. Got plenty of caps, um, a few other bits and pieces. But um, I guess yeah, the big yellow beast itself. It's just a proper Pov Pack Falcon wagon. Uh, I brought it during 2021 as a bit of a COVID project and um, could see the potential of it. It was hadn't been running for about 25 years and got all the uh, surface rust off it and brought the original paintwork back to life, which was really satisfying, really cool. And it's just a big, slow, old cruiser, which is a lot of fun for me. So uh, yeah, love getting out on the weekends on a nice sunny day and just cruising around, fat arming it. And uh, it's just three on the tree, 4.1 original cross flow uh, six cylinder. So um, yeah, just cruise it along. We have a lot of fun. Lovely. Well, on behalf of Growl Racing, I know Chris is stoked to have both yourself, a celebrity uh, to him, and uh, the car as well. Definitely made for awesome alongside TFH as well. So, uh, yeah, thank you for coming, and uh, it was so awesome to, to catch up. So guys, the People Choice Award is a VL Common. 
Om Ravi O Habibi I swear to God I swear to God And the VL that took our People Choice Award Is Envy Envy Big Boy The top custom award is It is A Supra Oh my god is that a Supra? So we have a Supra who's won And the Supra who took our top custom is I'm Scary Dinner. If you guys haven't checked out I'm Scary Super, it is over by the left here. The car is absolutely immaculate. He's got a custom set of uh, wheels, fully custom set of wheels on there, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely killer car. Check it out, out to the left. Wow, very nice. The show is pretty much coming to an end now. There's about half an hour until the exhibitors are going to be starting to pack up. Uh, but I wanted to give a special mention to my arch nemesis and also my secret lover and secret admirer. Uh, Aaron has won the top custom award at the Performance Pulse Expo, which this man does not think he deserves. But if you have one glare at this car, you will see that's definitely not true. The engine bay is completely kitted out. Custom wheels, custom paint, custom pearl goodies over carbon. The interior was all thrown together for this meet. We got everything tied together. It's just complete, even with some HKS 
floor mat. So, Aaron, when you watch this back, and I know you will because you're my biggest fan, you're probably talking about me right, right now, uh, well and truly deserved, brother. Well done. If you guys do follow either of us on the socials, you know we are constantly talking trash, but you will also notice that we are parked next to each other every event because it's all set in love and uh, yeah, just so cool to have homies with cool cars and uh, yeah, well done brother, very well deserved. But cars that can move under their own weight and their own power, make their way down and while you're at it, make sure you subscribe to Oz Automotive for all your updates, Oz Automotive on YouTube, Instagram and all the socials. Charles, I've got a question for you. Yeah mate. How was the event? How was that been? I've got to say, guys, this is actually such a nuts turnout. I can't thank you guys enough. This has been so amazing. Chris, Growl Racing, TFH Hire, all the exhibitors, honestly, bro, this is so sick. I couldn't expect anything better. I really hope we get to have another one next year. It has to be. It has to be. Or another if, one this year. Or another one this year. But if we do another one, I really hope we're allowed to do bump out so we leave the cars here yeah. and make him grab the cars on Sunday yeah. so I can have a little bit of after party. Yeah. yeah, skids, skids on. No, no. Skids. love you guys, love ya. Thank you. Will you be MC at the next one? Yeah, of course. 100%, we've locked him in. I'll be at Matsuri, so come see us next weekend or the weekend after at Matsuri if this will be up. I'll be at all Power Cruise Queensland, baby. <laughs> Queensland's best MC, Charles. Thank you, everybody. Everything is packing up very quick here, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone that came, thank you so much. The cars, nothing but quality. Now it's time for the GTR to make its way on out of the show, and uh, that is a wrap for Growl Racing. So thank you everyone that come up, saw the car, bought shirts and everything. That's a wrap, baby. All right, we have the man of the day, of the weekend, Chris from Growl Racing. First of all, well done on such an incredible event. So everyone watching, I need you guys to go show him support on Facebook, Instagram, you name it. And uh, that sort of support is gonna make stuff like this happen hopefully more frequently. So first of all, is there plans on making this a recurring thing or is that too far in the future? Like, what, what are your thoughts? Yeah, good question. I think, um, yeah, we'll probably see what happens and what we'll chat to everyone in the next couple of days and um, get some feedback and see um, what what sort of transpires. Um, definitely, I think, you know, just judging from the initial conversations we've had, the people that have come through the door, there's a lot of people keen for another one. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, look, we would definitely love to make it an annual thing. Um, yeah, it's just something we'll we'll consider as we as we do some more talks and get some more feedback. Yeah. yeah. Next one will happen. It will be bigger and better. <laughs> but uh, obviously, you've got to be so proud of of what you've what you've done here. I know when you said your speech up there, like you thanked all the, the sponsors of of Grow Racing. Uh, is there anything you want to say to the people that may be watching this that didn't get to attend, or, or um, what were your thoughts on how how today went overall, and who yeah. do you have to thank? Look. Number one is all these exhibitors. These guys here stepped up to the plate and took it to the next level. The yeah. um, the, the displays were unbelievable, um, as you'll see on the Oz Automotive channel. Um, seriously, uh, that's number one. And number two, the people that actually came through the door today. There was yeah. just so many people. It was busy, man. It, it was, was really busy. It was yeah. proper busy. I yeah. was like, damn. Uh, it's, it blew out. Yeah, it totally outweighed our expectations. There's no way we imagined we were going to have that sort of crowd through. So yeah, yeah we're just so great grateful to everyone on board and look all the family and friends you guys everyone that has helped we had to have so many volunteers help set up um, yeah with all the displays and everything like that so we were extremely grateful for all that as well yeah. So. yeah those that came there was literally a line that I got to film like there was a cohort of people waiting to come in this morning there was goodie bags there was competitions there was there was everything for everyone like I saw kids getting photos with cars and, and that's <laughs> what it's about you know like it inspires you know them into liking cars and exactly. keeps the uh, keeps the ball rolling the ball so rolling. Exactly. Yeah, again you, you've killed it so congratulations well done exactly. I know everyone involved is super proud of you and your wife you said that's obviously yeah. obviously done a lot so yes. in the comments below we need a well done a good job whatever you want to say but make it positive <laughs> yeah. and uh, yeah I think I think that's a wrap yeah so thank you so much for everything you've done as well brother that's we really right. appreciate it thanks for bringing
touring in the GDR and just Yeah, of course. Honoured to be a part of it. I know yeah. uh, out of some of the cars here, I think, I must say, the, the GTR and Aaron's together, I think, it was showstoppers. Yeah, I think that 100%. was, uh, obviously, <laughs> it's, it's biased, but <laughs> yeah, they look so, so good. So thank you for letting us park together the way we were. Welcome. And, uh, Welcome. Yeah, I, I haven't heard a single bad thing yet. So <laughs> hopefully we get another event real soon. And uh, if you haven't already, smash the like button, subscribe, and definitely check these guys out on socials. And uh, yeah, there'll be another video coming soon. So for this one, we're gonna end out on the talking and we'll see you guys later. Peace.